I need you to see this. Elon Musk is spreading a very specific kind of racism on the internet right now. Elon started retweeting some of the most prominent race scientists, and there was like nothing. No one, you, Chuck Schumer met with him after that. He is like the sort of patient zero for a lot of stuff right now. Elon seems to really like this account. They've gone by a few names on the platform, but they share extremely racist content that argues that black people are innately intellectually inferior beings. We actually settled this debate generations ago, but Elon Musk is helping to bring it back. Meet Louis Agassiz, a Swiss-born American biologist who believed that the races developed separately and were of different origins. In his view, Negroes were of the, quote, lowest grade of humanity. Look at this graph. It shows the follower growth of this account over time. And many of those peaks that you're seeing are the moments when Elon Musk engaged with them over the last few years. A simple response from Elon gives a fringe account like this one access to millions of users, drawing greater attention to these destructive ideas and earning this account tens of thousands of new followers. This page is part of a larger network of race science advocates on Twitter, people who use out of context IQ data and cherry picked examples to make gross sweeping statements about entire groups of people. And and Elon Musk gobbles it up, pulling his audience of tens of millions of followers down the rabbit hole with him. And I'm not the only one who recognizes Elon's impact. They know that he's the best thing to happen to their racist ideas too, saying that he's done more to raise awareness for their cause than anything else. People are not being convinced by the strength of the empirical argument. They're being convinced by the appearance of the empirical argument. That's Will Stansel. He's an attorney and he's been fighting against this army of bigots for months. People are almost more susceptible to the simpler, you know, charts with like race and IQ than they to the really complicated stuff. The simple stuff, they can look at the chart and there's a line, you know, there's a line that says black Americans and it says IQ 70, white Americans IQ 101, and people go, well, that's it then. This is the most basic statistical error in the book. You know, it's the correlation doesn't equal causation. Now, if you encounter this content in the wild, their graphs and academic sounding language saying that IQ data proves that people of European descent are intellectually and genetically superior, you may know that it's wrong, but you may not have the language for it. So I reached out to Dr. Sasha Gusev. My name is Sasha Gusev. I am an associate professor at the Harvard Medical School. Uh, I am a statistical geneticist by training. I asked him if there was any scientific legitimacy to the claim that these people were making. So I think there's a couple of ways to think about it. One is this concept of race fundamentally doesn't have a basis in biology. So, you know, as I mentioned, like the, the model, the evolutionary model that we have of genetic diversity is completely different from this sort of social model that we have of distinct, isolated racial groups. And so whenever we start talking about racial differences, that is already a flawed view of looking at genetic variation, which just does not follow those kinds of hard uh, and separate um, racial distinctions. I think Dr. Gusev captured perfectly why Elon's role in spreading these ideas is just so uniquely dangerous. There's a kind of fusion of old school, just like gutter racism that everybody can kind of recognize in this new school Silicon Valley data driven um, analysis. And I think that that is very confusing to people. Um, and a lot of times uh, they kind of they don't know what to do with it. They say, hey, there's this thing that I understand is ugly. And then there's somebody posting 100 charts uh, that seem to support it. Talk, talk to me, why, why are you engaging in this online? I mean, you know, you're a busy scholarly individual, you're a professor. What brings you to Twitter to argue with the derps online? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I ask that question myself um, a lot, too. Uh, I think it, it is important for um, for the people who actually run those studies and understand where those charts are coming from and how their work is being misused, um, uh, you know, to, to be out there and talking about it.